We pick up this video of replacing your brake discs with the calipers and the pads already removed. If you need additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for detailed instruction. This picture shows the two 16mm bolts that secure the caliper mounting frame to the wheel housing, green arrows. On the front brakes of the Mini, this frame must be removed in order to remove the brake disc. These bolts are torqued down very tight, so you are probably going to need to use a breaker bar to loosen them. Once the bolts are removed, maneuver the frame out from in between the wheel housing and the brake disc. Before you remove the brake disc, it's important to first measure them to see if they need to be replaced. Use a micrometer to perform the measurement. If you use a dial caliper, you might just get a false reading because the disc wears on the area where the pads make contact, not on the edges of the disc. Make sure that you take several measurements in order to compensate for potential high and low spots. The brake disc is secured to the wheel hub with a countersunk T50 torque bolt. Once removed, the brake disc should simply fall off. Sometimes the disc can stick to the wheel hub. If it's stuck on, use a rubber mallet on the backside to knock the disc off. This is what you will see once the brake disc has been removed from the wheel hub. It's a good idea to clean the mating surface at this time. For the rear discs on the Mini, you don't need to remove the caliper mounting frame. Just remove the disc retaining bolt and maneuver the disc off the hub and out of the frame. It's a good idea to put a small dab of anti-seize compound of the threads of the new disc retaining bolt before installing it. Then line up the new disc with the mounting hole on the hub. This is what you will see once the new disc, pads, and caliper have been reinstalled. Make sure to bed your brake pads to your new brake discs. Follow the instructions for bedding your pads and discs from the manufacturer of the parts that you purchased. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.